Oh, hey, that's actually pretty useful. Just turn that off. Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Tactics. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius, and I'm a blithering idiot who does not notice when there is an open door over to the side. Yeah. I feel a little sheepish. So, I'm gonna have Talos. Where are you, you bastard? Talos? All oh, right. For some reason, I thought that we're gonna search over there and make sure they have the. We're gonna have Talos cast his light spell once again on Spadunkus. Could my voice get any higher? Actually, wait a second. He's higher level. I should be able to cast. I should be able to prepare more spells now. One more of these, so we'll go with. We'll go with another light. We'll also get rid of cure minor wounds. Because I have, in full honesty, never seemed to make good use of cure minor wounds. <laughs> uh, I'll go with detect magic, and yep, sure enough. One more of these. Um. Ah, oh, protect is a. That's a level two spell, never mind. I was gonna say, oh hey, maybe I should totally get another Oh, I should be casting magic weapon. What am I thinking? Um how long is this one? Casting time, standard action, ten rounds per level. So twenty rounds. It's not bad. You know what? Let's have everyone rest. We'll cast that light spell one more time. Glorious light spell. Now, Spadunkus, be the shining beacon of taking all the hits for us, please. I seem to recall, too, there was a point where uh, everything, just everything, was actually able to hit Spadunkus. We were. Roughly level 12, I think. And, um, it was rather upsetting. Dude had like a 40 plus armor class in the campaign. And it was just. He was getting hit. Nearly every single combat. Usually for really large chunks of damage, too. Like, massive chunks of damage. It's kind of bizarre. Alright, pit. Bring up the rear. Like you always do. Go forth, Spadunkus. Uh, something nasty over there. It's making it. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's a skelly. Look out. It's a skeleton. Move here. Let it do its whole lumbering thing. Oh man, what was I thinking? Having it stay there makes it so as only two of us or three of us can attack it at a time. Die! Dang it. And I'm rod. Luckily. I don't know why I'm saying luckily. I don't think that there's anything he can actually do <laughs> to help the situation. Fun fact, though. Uh, the Undead in this edition... I'm pretty sure it's in all editions, actually. I don't know why I'm saying this one specifically. Uh, undead in Dungeons & Dragons actually take damage from positive, di uh, positive energy sources. So, say you were to try to cast Cure Light wounds on a skeleton... That actually does damage to him. It's pretty fantastic. I love it. Now, do you have... You don't. So we will... Unequipped. See, this is, this is the part that's going to get irritating when I... Continuously have to... Swap back and forth from... Crap. Continuously have to swap back and forth from... 
uh, using... God dang it. What am I trying to say? Swapping back and forth from when I'm using a character with different weapon varieties. So note to self, probably should get Dar a great, at, uh, great club too. All right, Talos. But no, Talos was one of my favorite characters I played because he was a paladin character, but he wasn't, you know, super stick up the ass paladin. He was one of those chaotic good ones, rare as those may be. Paladin of Freedom, because 3.5 likes their idea of options. And boy, does 3.5 have options. Alright. Da, da, da. I th did I give... Yeah, I gave him Weapon Focus. I gave him Weapon Focus Longsword. It's a fighter. Of course I gave him weapon focus to the longsword. Love how she's, you know, also over encumbered as the little munchkin in the background there, but hey, at the same time. Gonna run like five times as fast. Can't help but feel like that this may be trapped. Like we go to open it up and then well, bam, there's like five undead. Ah, well. We will handle it. Depending on the variety of undead that they are. I can't help but just want... Kind of want there to be just a random chance of... Being ambushed. I don't know. Ugh. Get the rogue in here. Do do do. Do do do. I might as well have you cast your magic spells. I only rested because Talos had so little HP. And when I say so little, I mean like a third of his HP was was gone. How did you guys and gals roll so poorly for your goddamn HP? Alright. What's inside the chest? An orc double axe, arrows, and bolts. Alright. I'll take him. Love how the small guy, who mind you, does have less encumbrance than all of the medium sized characters. He's oh that that guy's armored. All right, Zombo, get over here. Anytime now. <laughs> I wonder if I should have these two in the back go on their own adventure. I kind of want them to. They do seem like the sorts. Like Pit was always the sort to get into some sort of miscellaneous trouble, but Amrod? Probably also, be completely honest. Alright, let's just hope that he doesn't do a disgusting amount of damage to... Eh, good. Alright, let's move through with you. Now, I think zombies in this edition also suffer from not being able to... Oh my god, that actually did damage. That's amazing. But no, um... What was I trying to say? I'm pr... Uh, I actually did forget what I was trying to say. Frick. Oh no. And Oh, there is a lot of unknown over there actually. And none of the characters over there actually have 
anything to do damage to those guys. Oh god, he took another hit. Well, no, okay. He's got magic miss. Never mind. Cleric! Alright, I suppose he can go help. Hey Darius, what? Why don't you have them step out of the attack range of your foes once in a while? Nah, that'd be smart. Alright, River, can you get one more shot in? I know that he has some sort of impressive AC. Oh my god, you did! Wow. Okay. <laughs> I should have given her the sling at the start. Alright. Cure light wounds on you. So you don't die in one swell foop. Uh, let's have these two continue this way. Maybe we'll flank around the skeleton. And his pussy. Exploration phase. Uh, we might have... Must have just gotten out of... Okay... So we must be going around the skellies. Nope. This way just leads to loot! Alright, get out of the way so I can deal with the skeletons. Get dips. Actually, he should be casting healing on himself, now that I looked at his HP. That's one of the things I do prefer spontaneous casters over, uh, well, other casters. Prepared casters, if you will. Better get her moving over here just in case. Like, I know that the limited... The limited move set, as it were is what a lot of people dislike about spontaneous casters. They select their spell list and they're done. But honestly, I find that a little better on my opinion. I don't know. I, I get a severe case of uh, choice paralysis whenever it comes to damn near anything. <clears throat> like even when it comes to let's playing. I am terrible when it comes to my choice paralysis. Seriously, it was like this game or two others that I had immediately the desire to try out and play. But, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> I figured I should try something else that's also part of the whole D&D &D thing that I love so much. <clears throat> Especially seeing as I seem to be getting D&D &D blue balls as of late. Okay, now we can see the skeleton. Now the skeleton can see us. Oh, Lord. Now, see? The rest of the party ain't so good when it comes to undead. So we're just gonna try to cast Magic Missile. Five damage, okay. It's actually pretty damn good. Now what I should be doing is trying to get one of the other party members over there. Really? Uh, if I try to move him... Shoot, I should have had him cast defensively. Can I equip that shield without dying? Yes. <laughs> Well, you know what? Why don't we get Darius over there? Darius? You know how to take care of massive amounts of undead. Why don't you try to get over there and make it so as our friends don't die? Is he able to get around? Oh god, he is. Uh, open the chest. Step. 
Can you delay your turn? Of course not. Okay. If he tries to cast a spell from right here, that skeleton is going to get an attack of opportunity. Might kill him. Never mind. He's, his uh, zero level spells are gone. Oh, wait. Okay. 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 I got an idea. Step back. St step back. And then... I mean, it could bardic music. Oh, I could just... Yeah, shut up. And... Whoop. Bam! Celestial wolf, bitches! A celestial wolf probably actually has more HP than any of my other characters. Not HP, what am I thinking? Well, it derived an attack off of him, so... That's a win in my book. Alright, see if I can't... Come on. Come on, just do it. Good, good, good. River, do your stuff. Thank you. I'll, I'll get freaking whoever I can over there as soon as I can. For now, step. Come on. Uh. If they end up dying, I ain't gonna be surprised in the slightest. It's gonna be my own fault. Still, I'm not gonna be surprised. And with that zombie there, that's kind of the... Uh, well, so much for Mr. Celestial. Seriously? These two have been loitering over here for the sheer purpose of picking up a silver single arrow. Sil single silver arrow. Words. All right, if I have him use Cure Light Wounds. Yeah, Cure Light Wounds on Talos. I'd rather not see Talos die. That's why I'm even bothering with... Why did that not heal him? Talos? What? What? Are we wearing heavier armor, or is it the encumbrance again? It's the encumbrance, isn't it? We need a dwarf. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Skeleton's gonna step forward? No, there it goes. I, I thought I was going to be able to use that celestial wolf, but uh, apparently not. Alright. Please, for the love of your companion, successfully cast magic missile and kill him. It takes three magic missiles to kill one skeleton. A one, a two, a three. All right, now that that we got that, now that we have that covered, let's go save our friends. Talos. GTFO. I uh, still don't have a hand free. I do kind of find... <sighs> I don't know. I am of a mind where I find it kind of stupid that you... Uh, it's a gripe. It's a gripe. It's a gripe that can be resolved with the use of the uh, quick draw feat. But it's still a gripe. Oh, don't kill the bard. I joke about bards being useless all the goddamn time. Like every other person that plays Dungeons and Dragons. But don't kill the bard. Kind of amazed that it only did three damage. Alright. So we're gonna have you... Step... Back. And use your bardic music. Dear friends of mine, don't let the undead slaughter me dead. It's not very good. 
Alright. Can I... What magic do I have left? Magic missile! Wow, he is doing really lucky damage. I mean, one to four, plus one, like five times in a row. That's actually pretty damn impressive. Alright, now you go ahead and cure yourself. Ooh. How is that out of range? Is it out of range if I step there? Cast. Summon monster. Bam. It takes an entire turn and the monster may not seem, be, seem to be able to do anything. But that flanking bonus is going to be fantastic when it comes to Darius coming up to bat. He swings. How did you miss when it was flanked? Ooh. This is a mighty zombie. I don't like mighty zombies. <laughs> Alright, Emrod, uh, what else can you do? Please say anything. Lullaby, flare, daze. None of this affects undead. Doesn't even have any more scrolls, huh? Got a potion. Could drop the potion next to. Hmm. I just want to redisc, re redisc, reduce the chances of Talos dying here. That's all. Yeah, let's do that. Drop. In turn, skeleton pops up. Be all like blah. Misses the wolf. Good. Pits, do you got any more? Oh, how many freaking spells per day do you have? I do not remember sorcerers having this many spells per day. You guys only moving eight ra eight spaces a turn. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't be surprised if that got us killed. Wait. Just one that. Huh. Celestial creatures, uh, supposedly, anyways, have the ability to, hmm, have the ability to smite undead, or smite evil, rather, and just thought that this was one of those cases where it is evil. Pick up potion. Kind of reminds me when you catch a fish in Fable. You just be all like, yeah! It's silly, but I love it. Alright, Spadunkus, get your ass over here. One of the deadly dangers of narrow hallways. There we go. I thought I had bardic music going already. Unless it only lasts a certain amount of turns. Ah well. Oh, maybe it was the darkness too. Because while we're able to see... Yeah, that eh, goes with that. Because while we're able to see better in darkness than humans as gnomes, doesn't necessarily mean that we can just plain old see in darkness. Definitely one of the things I do enjoy more about this game. They do the whole, you know, what it is that you actually see thing that many D&D games don't actually do. Or rather, sometimes they don't do well. How is it that you did six damage and some of it is reduced? You are ridiculous, Mr. Dog, sir. Alright, see if we can't finish off the zombie. Finally. Uh, not to mention... Ooh, cool. Not to mention now... Yes! 
glorious. We live! Uh, but for how much longer? Is there even anything in this direction? Oh, yep, yeah, there's that. There's this way, which has yet another chest. Probably going to insist that everyone rest and heal first. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> Wait. I just had Talos charge into battle after Darius moves out of combat and into combat with the skeleton and punch the skeleton in the back of the head so hard it crumbled to a pile of bones. Let's equip that morning star, good sir. Alright. Amrod, why don't you actually cast the light spell for once? I mean, you've only got like a billion casts as a spontaneous caster. Well, now I kind of... I really wish that... I, well, don't know what's in there, but ready yourself. Move yourself. Well, really, I want to go this way, so we'll focus on going this way first. There it is. I really, really want to play a 3.5 D&D game now. Like, 3.5 is probably, honestly, my favorite edition, even if Pathfinder is, you know, essentially 3.5 improved. But I have a whole freaking Dungeons & Dragons Stories video about that, and my whole feelings on the matter. Uh, let's see if I go here. Yeah, we want to we grab that treasure first. Sweet, sweet, filthy lucra. You know what I find interesting, though? Uh, usually when I play games for my channel, I at least look up on how long to beat to see just how long it is to beat a certain game. Mostly, yeah. Mostly so as I can be all like, okay, um, I'll probably get this many videos out of it. And all that fun stuff. Uh... D&D Tactics doesn't have a listing. <laughs> At the time of my recording this, there is no listing for how long this game is. It kind of boggles my mind, because... I don't know, I, I've seen people play through some of the worst crap when it comes to games. Like, whether just for fun, just as a hobby, hell. I myself played through the Game Boy Advance version of... Uh, Eye of the Beholder. I know I keep on stating that like I'm proud of it. And I kind of am. Because <laughs> I think so few people have actually played that to actually say, Oh yeah, no, this is proper shit. What is the Night Slicer? Silver Dwarven War Axe plus one damage to attack rolls and bonus to attack and damage rolls, bypasses the damage reduction of werewolves and vampires, requires Dwarven War Axe proficiency. It's a one-handed War Axe that for Darius does 1d8 plus 1. Oof. Oh god, you do not know how tempting that is now. That is honestly so freaking tempting. I... Oh. It's one of those reasons why I have Darius, why I commonly have Darius as a Dwarven Barbarian these days. Not only for that sweet, sweet additional boost to, you know, strength, because hey, 16 strength is not better than 18 strength, but also because, I mean, <sighs> God damn it. Because no one makes magic items out of freaking gnome hook hammers. Who the hell does that shit? 
Also, who the hell loads up their goddamn halfling with so much stuff that they can barely move? Oh yeah, that's right. I do. Alright. One person at a time. I do really I will say, even at, uh, after even the fourth video there of this, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm full on enjoying myself. Because this game does cover a lot more of... I don't know how to put it. It feels more like a D&D game than other D&D games that I've played. It's probably not a good way to put it. <laughs> Like, when you're playing Neverwinter Nights, you gotta worry about, oh, whether or not that guard that's still moving there is actually seeing your rogue or whatnot. And this one, it's it's slow, it's methodical, yes, but that's the way I like my D&D strategy-esque games, is slow and pseudo-methodical. Also, I do kind of hope that they have more of these missions that are just straight up all of your characters, because as slow as as slow as it is to play with six different PCs, and however much less when it comes to experience that you get, this is fun. <laughs> Being able to bring in all of your all of your friends' characters and customize them. This is what I like most about most D about tactics -y D D games is ones that are all oh hey let's let's make it so as everyone plays. I don't know that's that's probably a bad way to put it. I don't know. Surprise attack! Oh. That's the weapon thing. Um. Well, that's a skeleton. Okay. Damn good hit. I would. Oh, no. Don't. Not like that, Darius. There. Alright. Get back over here. Uh, not cast. I need you to bardic your music. <sighs> I also need Pit to stop being slower than a slug. Alright, weapon thing. What you gonna do? Attack my barbarian for a whole lot of damage. Holy crap, that hurt. Alright, Spadunkus. Um... Good luck. <laughs> Smite evil. Uh, he's not going to get any bonus when it comes to damage, but that plus two to attack. Useless. Utterly useless. I don't even. I don't even know why he bothered. Damn it! I was kind of hoping that was going to hit. Um, in the turn. If I have him. Crap, I forget whether or not using a potion would cause him to incur an attack of opportunity. Because what I want to do is have him step out. Boop. Use... Cure Light. And the next round I'll have him drink a oh wait. I just have a right cuz it's only one action. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I could just have him rage, but I'll save that for the time being. No, not through that way. All right. Talos. Balls, I forgot. I can't cast anything like this. Uh, cure light wounds. Because it's a scroll and I don't have to unequip a shield or something to use a scroll. Alright, Emrod. 
back of the line. Open the chest. Because why not? Uh, sleep scroll, once again, useless against undead. Bam! Now my biggest worry is that he is going to ignore Spadonkus and go right for River. Good. He didn't. But Spadonkus is still taking damage. Damn. Okay. Attack. Fuck. Can I open that chest without... Apparently I can. Okay. Items. Potion of Cure Light Wounds. If I could... Actually. Yeah. Backpack. Drop the potion. River. Make your attack. Dang it. Alright, end your turn. We're good. <sighs> Not ending this video until we've got everything all squared away. So what I'll do... Backpack. Potion of bull strength. Use that shit. Oh yeah. You guys should know where this is going. Now we're gonna rage. Take a step into combat. And apparently into my turn. And freaking Potion, Ring of Protection 1. T just take it all, Talos. Now if I could... If I could cast one more spell on the Bastage. Turn the items. Eh. Wait. You're not equipped it with the shield. Oh, that's probably a good thing. Oh, frick. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Bardic music, because apparently... Those buffs don't last as long as I thought they did. Alright, Bet. Save the day with your glorious magical missling. Glorious. And your turn, the weapon thing goes. That's cool. It's fine. Darius has plenty of hit points. Alright, we will step here. Grab the item. Where's the item? Uh. Okay. No worries. Frick, where'd the item go? Did someone accidentally pick it up? Come on. Alright. Still raging. Still got plenty of hit points. Still got plenty of die. Whew. This is the this is a fine burial chamber. Is it the king's? No, it's more like the resting place of a king's champion. Now I think it's time to go and find the king. You know. After we loot everything. Because I ain't leaving this chamber without picking up everything. But I'm going to do that in the next video. When we return, this should be the end of the dungeon. Uh, once we return to the king's chamber and have ourselves an audience. And then it's probably just going to be a whole spiel of selling stuff and buying stuff. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.